what is up guys it's Simon here back again with another video showing you how to make this synth um, I'll show you right now let's have a listen <laughs> So yeah, most of this synth is done um, with effects on FL Studio 12. So yeah, but first let's get into the massive patch. First of all, in oscillator one, you go, you're gonna go for smooth square. Put it down two octaves, minus 24. Put this all the way up. Make sure for FL Studio one, you have a band reject. Just copy these knobs if you want to. Um, so yeah, for LFO 5, you're gonna pick a performer right here. Ratio is gonna be 1 to 8. Make sure the sync and pause is turned on. Then click load curve, take this one. Then this one down. And this one up. Um, then you go to your 8th LFO, make sure you pick a performer. Uh, make sure sync and pause is turned on. Ratio has to be 1 to 4. Then load curve and just pick this basic, basic uh, automation. And the second one is gonna be this. Then for insert one, you're gonna pick a sign shaper. Then dry wet all the way up, and drive has to be just about more than the central. Uh, then for filler one, you're gonna pick this one, fifth performer, and click this drag button and drag it right here. Then um, drag it up till it's about at the center then you're gonna do the exact same with these knobs just click this little button here and drag it here and the second one you drag here and just dr drag the drag the three up and two down till right about here then for amp you're gonna pick your fourth envelope and just copy these knobs then drag this one right in here and your 8th L4 you're gonna drag here it's this one I'm gonna drag it here make sure your pan is um, centered and your master volume is right about here then for the EQ you're just gonna copy these knobs high shelf a little bit up low shelf a little bit down um, also make sure these this one is turned up and this one is turned down and this one is just the center. <laughs> oh, and also make sure it's spectrum right here. Then you're gonna go to track and drag it up to this track one. Then you're gonna pick a uh, fruity parametric EQ two. It's right in the EQ section right here. Then you're gonna copy this and make sure for this one that you do it like this and drag it down till it's about more sharp edge um, then you're also gonna pick a vocodex it's right here and just you can just copy all this all this stuff you can just pause the video if you want but yeah it's really important that this what this is turned up like this <laughs> Yeah, make sure it's not too much high end on it. So yeah, just like this. Um, then you're also gonna pick a free reverb too right here for the reverb 2 and just copy this right here make sure this is turned like this or else it will sound like filtered <laughs> 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 
to make it a perfect circle then just copy all these all these knobs make sure this is this this is about 1.1 seconds and the wet is 7% so yeah, like this then you're also gonna pick a effect, an effector it'll be just put in FL Studio by itself so yeah then you pick a delay make sure Bypass is turned off or else your effect won't come through. And then just make sure this is 3 to, three to 8 and this is, yeah, just copy it. Then you'll also pick another effector and make it a phaser. It's, it's, it creates more of a like wobbly sound. <laughs> Sausage fattener. Um, you can just, I think, download this for free. I'm not sure, but yeah, I got it. Yeah. Then you're gonna pick color 90%. Oh, right there, and the fatness has to be 6%. Oh, yeah, just like this, and gain has to be about there. <coughs> yeah, just make it one. Just left click to make it up, go up, and right click to make it go down. Yeah, like this. Then you're also gonna pick a fruity compressor and just yeah, copy the things I have here. Yeah, just like that. Uh, I'm also gonna show you how to make some to make a good sub. <laughs> Sub, just I made my sub. I, I mostly sample my sub, so I have no problems with like effects and stuff. So yeah, just you can make the track, mix the track to eight. Just pick a simple fruity paramedic two. I also always automate my sub like this. Make sure this one is all the way down, or else you have high end and you can't really have high end on a sub. Also depends on the synth. You kind of have to play around with your subs to make it sound good. So yeah, if you want to make me, if you want me to do more videos like this, make sure to like this video and maybe you can PM me on Facebook. I'll put my Facebook in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. And also be sure to check my SoundCloud. I'll be in the description, and I'll see you guys later.